But he made the mistake, Rogers rather than catering to his moderates, to his majority Pardon. makers, and trying to build a coalition there, Rose. he's made extraction after extra extraction and concession Pardon. to the far right, who are never going to be with Rose him. I mean, he could have, he should have called John Boehner and Paul Ryan if he wanted to know how this was going to go for him. And, and if you are a member of the Freedom Caucus, this is a brilliant strategy from the limited perspective of wanting to, to flex your power. Mm -hmm. So they humiliate uh, Kevin McCarthy in a historic way. And then what? Uh, Steve Scalise becomes the speaker, but he knows how serious these guys are, that if he makes one wrong move, wrong. not only he will very quickly be replaced. Jeffries. I want to go to Melanie Zanona, who is Zanona, who's standing by on, on the Hill. Uh, Melanie, what are, you, what are you hearing? Yeah, so Anderson, as this vote has been dragging on, the anger and frustration inside the GOP is really growing. I talked to one GOP lawmaker who is supporting McCarthy, and they said they're already hearing from GOP donors and from constituents back home that the party looks, quote, stupid for not being able to elect a speaker. And I talked to another Republican uh, who said he's also pro-McCarthy, and he predicted that after three or four ballots, there's going to be pressure for Republicans to either adjourn the proceedings and try to regroup or to try to just figure out some sort of plan B strategy on the floor. So even though a lot of Republicans were bracing for this to go to multiple ballots, they are still in disbelief, and they are just furious that all of this drama is overshadowing their new majority. I, I talked to a third Republican who said they are embarrassing the whole team. We should form a parking lot committee and put them Thank on you. it. So clearly the anger is palpable, and I do expect there to be retribution for McCarthy's opponents whenever they finally settle all of this.